If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, we got the last Ultimate Legends for the entire year, guys. Literally the final drop we will be having at all. So we got three Legends. We got two regular, one LTD as per usual. You guys already know the deal with that. And we got some exciting news. They finally reduced the price of Ultimate Legend Packs. Now, are they still not worth it? Yeah, they're still overpriced. At the end of the day, these guys go for less than like 50k now. So, I still won't be opening that. I do have enough for a Game Changer Pack, so we may be ripping those. Well, that, because it's not plural, because I can only open one. But, still pretty exciting. They did drop the price. They cut it in half. Um, nothing too crazy. But they did cut it in half. So, at least maybe a few of you guys can start opening them again if you want to try to pull the new Legends. Today, guys, for the final Ultra Legend drop, we do get Bojax. Now, before we get into today's video, guys, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, boys. Come join the family, give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and let me know what you guys think of the Ultra Legends. Now, I am sad it is the last Ultra Legend drops because, of course, that means we don't have much else for the rest of the year, and Man 21 is still a little under two months away. So, I don't know how we're going to survive in these streets doing this, but we're going to try to make it through, keep grinding through the really, really slow periods of Madden really really slow periods of madden but we're gonna try so send over to the auction block or oh, actually let's start with our game changer pack we got one in us now guys what i am upset about is that now it is confirmed we are not getting a Deion sanders more than likely unless they give him a power well they might give him a power for expansion actually which would make sense but we didn't get an ultimate legend Deion sanders that is incredibly lazy i at least give us another week and drop a few guys that we still needed like i don't know how they can end the year without giving us a max Deion sanders no golden ticket nope oh last one was combine and combine was back in march i believe april like that is ridiculous that was went this long without getting one i know i do believe it was in march march or late february i don't remember but point is guys against our game changer pack we haven't gotten a dion in at least three to four months that's kind of crazy to me but again it is what it is we get an elite right here my god could we get a golden ticket pull because we have not gotten a single good pull all year 82 jermaine curse Ooh, team of the week minka fitzpatrick NFL playoffs, and we get a flaw. Oh, this pack sucked. All right, so there goes my final amount of coins, probably for the year. I don't know how many more coins I'm going to be able to get. Uh, I'd like to open up another one, but I am kind of broke here. But at least Legend Fantasy Packs are brought down a little bit soon. Not by much, but maybe I should, I should open up a Legend Fantasy Pack. I never get to open these, and these are a lot more fun. What are the pull rates on these? Oh, wow, it's a, be it's better, it's a better pull rate, too. I'm stupid. I should have opened up that one. I didn't even realize that. Well, we missed out on that one. But guys, head over to the auction block, see if any of the guys are on the block. I mean, with the reduced price of Ultimate Legend Packs, I imagine that will lead to them being slightly cheaper. Or at bare minimum, on the block a little bit quicker, because more people will open them just by being enticed by the lower price. Despite it still being a scam, it's still a lower price. So let's go to Ultimate Legends. Let's go check these out. I am kind of excited for Bojack, so that means that we're finally going to have an affordable one that everyone can pretty much pick up. So that is pretty cool. And then we're going to have, I believe, Joe Klecko, which was from the Jets. He should be the LTD. And the final other guy, I'm not, it's not ringing a bell to me at this exact moment in time, who that guy is, but I imagine he's probably pretty decent. Why am I blanking? We got Bo, Klecko, one other guy, and these are the final legends again, which is really, really, really sad. But, guys, this is the hand that EA has dealt, and we're going to have to just deal with it for the time being. Otherwise, we're just going to get really upset if we keep putting thought into it. I wish I had more coins or packs, though, because I really would like to open up some packs right about now. Watch these legends be late. Would not be surprised in the slightest if these legends were late. Like, no joke. But, guys, in just about 10 seconds, if they're not up, I will be right back. Don't want to keep up all your time waiting for these legends. I will wait for them myself. And I will come back when the time is right to actually go over them. But of course, they're, they're, they're going to take their time today. Okay, so one of the first ones is uh, Bobby Bell. I had to double check to make sure. I was pretty sure it was him. Wasn't sure. I actually did really like the NFL 100 Bobby Bell. Now, let's see what this guy's looking like. Now, if, I, if, I, if I recall correctly, guys, I think they finally dropped what I've been waiting. The entire... How fast side is that, guys? I've waited since day one of Battle for all you guys following the channel. I've been waiting all year for... I love this linebacker that was tall, fast, and played good zone blocks. That's all I've been waiting for. And I, I'm almost positive Bobby Bell is finally that on the final... Potential content drop of the year. That is absolutely absurd. He's got 6'4", 90 speed, 93 excel, 89 strength, 97 tackle, 97 play rec. So far, great tackling, great play rec, great speed, great excel, considering what I want to do with him, and then 91 blocks. And he can still even pass rush a little bit. So, guys, if this zone is good, agility 91 solid. Let's do the 78 catching solid. Guys, if his zone is good, we finally got it. 
his impact block 92 and his zone coverage is a 90 and his man coverage 82 guys it took all year that is unbelievable it took almost a it almost took almost 12 months almost a full year to get the left side linebacker i'm waiting for so powered up and kept up he will get to about a 94 speed so that's solid he'll end up getting like a 93 block shed maxed out tackle maxed out play rec while getting about a 94 man i mean a 94 zone like an 85 to 86 man and if you put john madden on him as well he could get even a little bit higher this card will be a great great coverage linebacker specifically i mean you always should have put a middle linebacker there but i wanted one at the actual position but that's really not a bad card i think that bob bell really has a decent amount of potential there if you use him in the right scheme again it always comes down to scheme like if you run a three four scheme where or whatever you run a, a linebacking scheme where one of your linebacker your left side sits in the zone but if you happen to run a scheme where both your outside linebackers blitz like a big nickel scheme where you put you sub in both and it ends then in that case at the end of the day you won't find much use out of him, but in the like I said, if you run him out of 3-4 and you zone him or something, pretty, pretty useful there. Randy Moss just went up like a new looking legend there. Gronk 251. A lot of legends are going up, just not, not some of the new ones. You know, I really thought that more new ones would be pulled today because of how uh, how low, how much cheaper they were. I thought people would be pulling them then quicker, but vice versa. It's already like seven minutes in and... Guys, I'm going to finish this video off on Mudhead because these cards are taking forever to get up. I want to get this video guys to you guys out as soon as possible. As well as I do have a haircut appointment pretty soon, so I cannot stay around for too long. So let's get this. Let's get going with this. So here we go. Mutt 20, Ultimate Legend Career Edition. Jackson finished his career with 2,782 rushing yards and a career of 5.4 yards per attempt in four seasons with the Raiders. So let's see right here. So he's got 99 speed. Great. 98 excel. Great. 98 agility. 92 strength. 96 jumping. So here, that strength's amazing. Powered up and kept up, that strength's going to be phenomenal. The agility's going to be 99 powered up, and his excel will be 99. So it'll be 99 across the board. 99 truck. Gonna get, probably get 99 looseness with John Madden and zone run and everything. Ball carry vision is good enough. Stiff arm is a little bit lower than I expected, but it doesn't really matter because he's gonna have all the other stats. Spins is 93, that's great. 94 juke is great. 97 carrying, chemmed up and powered up will be 99. And break tackle as well will be 99. So he's gonna be close to 99 almost everything. At least that matters. And even his catching really isn't that bad. It's actually pretty good for a running back at this point, even for Bo Jackson. Guys, this card's great. I really do think this card is really, really good. Probably going to be one of the best Ultimate Legends they've dropped all year. Very comparable to the... The, the only difference between him and the Golden Ticket is going to be the abilities they could probably get or how many of each ability they can get. The slots and maybe a few stats, but they're really not too far apart. I think, guys, screw the Golden Ticket one. Save your coins get this one. Although, it will be really, 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 really expensive. I mean, at the end of the day, it will be less than the actual card regardless and then here is the other one which is joe klecko 97 99 overall number 73 for the new york jets so mutt 20 limited time ultimate legends this is the ltd klecko was selected to the pro bowl at three different positions during his 12 year nfl career bo jackson is live on the master i'll show you that guys real quick in a second but let's see general 84 speed so kind of low 90 excel decent 84 agility 90 strikes amazing 84 jumping 96 awareness 96 play rec not bad and then 97 block sheds really good 98 pursuits really good 96 tackles good 96 hit power so that's actually a really good hit power for a left end he's got 98 power move and 81 finesse move so finesse move sucks but powered up and chemed up he will end up getting just about maxed out hit power maxed out pursuit probably maxed out block shed maxed out strength maxed out power move and probably somewhere close to 87 to 88 speed so the car's not bad do i would i pick it up probably not especially because he's an ltd and it'll probably cost a lot of coins but uh, real quick let me just show you guys the bo jacks car because it is live five million coins people are crazy where'd it go oh, a little down five million coins that is a lot let's compare real quick to saquon i'm almost i'm positive that he's really oh let's compare it to clyde real quick yeah blows away clyde everywhere now let's compare him to, let's compare him to saquon saquon again no joke is not bad like that was such a good card for its time saquon powered up and chemed up will end up with the same speed the same excel same agility same carrying better catching similar elusiveness way less truck but that's because saquon just isn't known as like a trucking trucking back in madden at least they don't give him that level of stats um and then his break tackle will be the same he's gonna be very the saquon to this day is still like top five running back the only thing is that he ability he doesn't get human joystick which is gonna separate him from a guy like bo jackson but guys about for the video pretty much wraps up everything guys hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below let me know what you guys think of these legends to rank them um coming at third i'm gonna have to go with 
Joe Klecko. I probably won't use him. Coming at two, Bobby Bell. Great coverage linebacker. Coming at number one, Bo Jackson. Just a great running back. And that's about it, guys. Make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification boys. Come to the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. That's about it, guys. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.